but this is a fight that, that I'm actually, uh, I feel quite privileged to, to be part of leading. It's not one that I want to do, it's not one that we should be doing. But the cuts to our service is that all us here will hopefully not need, but may come to rely on. What we've got in the fire service in Clenton is that the best insurance policy you ever have. We hope you never have to use them, but if you do, you hope you've got the best service there to come out to you if you need it. And the changes that the fire authority are putting forward and the, the fire chiefs are putting forward sounds quite good in the first place. We're looking to save money, we're trying to make efficiency savings, and the service is not going to, going to be cut by doing it. But when you look at the detail of what they're trying to, in, in, uh, to impose on them, it can't give you anything but uh, a deteriorated service. Less firemen here to start with, and then work in shifts that, uh, that could be 96 hours a week. To do that is illegal anyway. They know it, they've got to get people to sign an opt out to do it. But just imagine, not just for us who may have got a fire you know, around home, what in the best service, what's that going to happen to the fired man or woman? who's been on shift for 72 hours before they have to come to your house. They're putting their own lives in danger as well as ours in the fires they can fight. And that's why we have to stand together and try to make sure that the cuts that are being proposed do not be implemented. This is a campaign that's being led by the staff. I think we should thank them for keeping it highlighted with the public week in, week out. And it has to be a sustained campaign between now and the end of the consultation period, pointing out all the wrongs that they're putting and hopefully they won't then be implemented. There are a couple of meetings coming up. I know the anti-cuts campaign have got a meeting next Tuesday. Um, there's a, the fire chief and the fire um, authority are coming to a town council meeting on Wednesday, the 7th of July. And then on the 8th of July, this is an important one for you, there is a scrutiny meeting taking place in the town hall at 10 o'clock, where the fire authority and the fire officers will be there with the scrutiny panel of the county council to take questions. I don't know if it's a public meeting or not, but I'd like to see all you, and much more besides, outside the town hall, maybe it's from quarter past to half past nine, so that when they start to come into the, into the town hall, they know the strength of feeling that Clenton has got against those cuts. So thank you for supporting it, and hopefully together we can once again beat the fire service in the cuts they're making on this uh, station of ours. Thank you. Uh,